Okay, I want to say thank you to everyone who has bought training and thank you to the people who are about to buy training. And once again, shout out to the Nerd Tribe. Let's have this discussion because we're going to be talking about financial prepping for 2003 and the things you need to do. Now, there's a lot of videos talking about how to prepare for inflation. Here's the thing. Unless you have money above and beyond what you need to live on, there's nothing you can do to prepare your money for inflation. Because you need your money. You need to, to pay rent or your mortgage. Uh, you need to buy gas. You need to buy groceries. There's nothing you can do. So in this video, we're going to talk about things that you can do to prepare yourself for the future. Number one, we must moderate debt. This hands down is the one of the biggest things that's dragging down the average American. They have a car payment, they have credit card payments, they have student loan payments. In some cases, they even have like a loan or a HELOC. And essentially, this debt is in just too much. So the first thing you need to do is construct a plan to whittle down your debt. And this should be a major singular focus. I would say if you bought a house four or five, six years ago, and you have an extremely low interest rate on your mortgage, I wouldn't really touch that. I would focus on credit card debt, car payments, and any other debt. I wouldn't really worry about that because it's going to be very hard for you to replace that situation in the current economic climate. However, let's talk about car debt. Um, this to me, Unless you're doing a business lease or buying a car in your business name or you can get a tax deduction to have a $700 to $1,500 car payment for a depreciating asset is asinine. I recently paid off a car that I had bought for Turo that I had financed. I paid this car off a little bit over a year. And because I paid it off so quick, I hardly paid any interest. And this is one of the things that's killing you. Most car loans now have it set up where you can make a payment or you can make a principal payment. Now, here's the thing. We're going to talk about the genesis of this because I've seen uh, several YouTube videos, commercials, like how to pay down your mortgage without making extra income. I don't really know how you're going to do that. But the genesis of this conversation is you need to do something to produce more income. There's no other way around it. If you're the average American, debt laden, car payments, credit card payments, you have all of these situations. The only way that you're going to get yourself prepared for 2023 is to make more money. There's no other way around it. There's nothing else you could do. Maybe you could become a hobo sexual. Maybe you could sell everything and move into a van. These are options, but this is for the people who don't want to become a homosexual. This is for the people who don't want to live in the van. So the first thing you have to do, and we're getting ready to do some training. We're getting ready to set this up. First thing you need to do is stop thinking side hustles. You need to think small business. One of the things that you could see in YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok is this side hustle. You know, you can create a side hustle and the inference is you're gonna create a side hustle 
that is going to make you more money than your main gig and you don't have to work as hard. We're going to just dispense with that. Number one, in preparing for our business, small business in the future. Number one, you're going to keep your job. Number two, you're going to work more. Just went ahead to get those two things out because there's a lot of people who are selling you that the ideal that you can work less and make more money in the short term. Is this possible over a long term? Yes, absolutely. You can actually build a business, go ahead and get your business automated where you're working literally 10 hours a week. You have plenty of money, have plenty of free time. But this isn't something that you're going to set up today is Sunday. You're not setting this up by next Sunday. You're not setting this up by even next year. But it is possible. And these are things we'll talk about. But in the beginning, at the front end of your small business journey, you're going to be working more. You're going to have a lot more um, going on. You're going to actually be doing hard work. Let's have that conversation. You're going to go work your job and you're going to deal with the stress, the time, the angst of going to work. Then you're going to come home and then you're going to work on your small business. Then once you get that going, we're going to do money management. Now, this is going to be the hardest thing. This is going to be the hardest thing. This is why you're keeping your job. You're not going to touch the money from the small business. That I had to hit a pause there. I had to hit pause. Pause because what you want to do is to learn proper money management. So you're going to keep your job. You're going to start your small business and you're going to segment your money. You're going to have a personal checking account and you're going to have a business checking account. And then your business checking account, this is where you're going to keep your business money. And if you do this right, this will set you up for the rest of your life because um, there, there's a lot of conversations here on YouTube about funding, funding, funding. It, it literally... If I was an alien and I came down to earth and I started watching YouTube, I would think the only way to start a business is to get funding. And it's simply not true. And this is one of the reasons, because this is what happened to me. I had a job and I started a small business and that small business generated $250,000 in eight months. And I saved every penny. You want to know why? Because I had a six figure job. So I was able to pay my bills, um, do what I need to do, take trips, buy BMW, pay cash for it, and not touch the money of my small business. Now, here's the thing. This was many, many years ago. It was about 22 years ago. That $250,000 has been the genesis and the seed money for everything that I have done after the fact, I've never had to go to a bank. Recently, I just got into the business credit game, and I'm gonna tell you why. I had no need, I was making enough cash flowing money to live the life that I wanted to live. So I didn't really need credit. But what's the best time to get credit when you don't need it? So I'm stacking up on the business credit. And I'll be doing some training about that. But you want to go ahead and th this is the thing that's going to get you prepared for the future. You got your job and you've got this business over here that's making money and you're saving this money. So what does this do? This creates an environment where you have money above and beyond what you need to live on. So now you can start playing the wealth game. So you can't play the wealth game when you're loaded up with debt. You're loaded up with obligations. It's very hard to play the wealth game. So 
you go on ahead, you got your job, you got your small business, and the first year you're going to actually, let's say, let's go ahead and say you start a cleaning service. And at the end of the first year, you have $50,000 in your business checking account. You're going to pay your taxes and that's going to be your emergency fund. Because see, here's the thing, and this is something that's going to happen because when you develop the habit, and once again, it's a habit to save money. Once you develop the habit of saving money, life gets much easier because once again, you got your job. So year one, that money goes into your long-term emergency fund, your short-term emergency fund, your family operating account. So you got plenty of cash there. Then year two, you're running this small business. And one of the reasons I feel that you should front load, even if you have debt, you should front load the long-term emergency fund, the short-term emergency fund, and the family operating account is you never know when something bad's going to happen. So if you're just in a situation where you're consistently using all of your money to pay off debt and then something happened, you're screwed. This way, you have an emergency fund, you have cash set aside to get you through some mini storms, okay? Then year two, this is when you start taking this business income to address debt. You will be addressing debt with your job money, whatever degree you can. Like let's say you start a cleaning service and you, you have $50,000 and then you go ahead and set up your emergency funds and stuff. Then year two, you're immediately going to be using business income to start addressing debt. So if you first thing you want to do is if you have car payments, you want to get rid of those as quick as possible because that's your second largest expense. So we're getting rid of a car payment. So let's say you and your wife have relatively new cars and you've had to buy a vehicle for the cleaning business. So you have literally three car payments. That whole second year, you're knocking out those car payments. Now, what this does is number one, you're in year two, so you're gonna be making more money. And then year two, you're knocking out those car payments, you have your emergency fund. And then year three, this is where it gets really, really good. Year three, you have your long-term emergency fund, you have your short-term emergency fund, you have no car payments, and then you can now start taking the money from your job and taking the money from the business and start throwing it at all of your debt. So you could literally be paying off a credit card or maybe student loans. Like let's say you're a situation where you have a total of $78,000 well, actually, since we got rid of the car loans, you don't even have a total of 78. So let's say you have student loans of 50,000 and you've got credit card debt of 20,000, $70,000. Year three, you're going to be knocking all of that out. So at the end of year three, you have no car payments, you have no student loans, you have no credit cards, and you got plenty of cash money in the bank. Year four, this is when you can begin to become an investor. See, this is, once again, this is what I'm talking about, having money above and beyond what you need to live on. You're creating this environment where you're now having surplus cash because now after four years, you've got really good money management skills and you are knocking it out the ballpark. So now in year four, you can start investing in the stock market or you can start investing in real estate there's a lot of things you can do because from a personal debt standpoint, you have no debt. You have cash, you have a job, you have a cash flowing device in your small business. So now you, and this is literally, this is how you could become a millionaire from scratch within 10 years. Once again, year, year one to year, year three, you're cleaning up all the damage, the bad habits, the bad money management situations you made. So year four to year 10, 
you are creating wealth whether you want to do it in a stock market whether you want to do it with real estate so let's go ahead and say this is fourth year your small business is doing 100k and you want to get into real estate so what you will do since you got great credit you will go out and get you a fourplex you want to get you four doors you don't want to get you a duplex you want to get you a fourplex and if you know you want to be really really snazzy say it's just you and your wife you have no kids what you can do is sell what you live in get that out your name get some cash for that then move into this fourplex and then rent out those other three units so now you even have more money since you are not paying your mortgage see how that works so now you have a, a cash flowing investment property you have a small business and you have your job so you have three streams of income this is something that the average person can do and this is something that can help you become a millionaire in 10 years or less this is the blueprint this is what you got to do because you know you want to put yourself in the position where the next economic cycle because you know we're in a cycle where we have recession and we're gonna have the great reset and this at some point this is going to go away but guess what it's coming again and the next time this come you'll be a millionaire you would have investment properties you would have a small business you would have extremely high monthly cash flow you would have little to no debt and you won't even notice gas prices. You won't even notice food prices. You won't, you, you'd be like, well, it was went up a little bit and you would keep living your life. So that's the financial prep plan. And to help you, I have a new thing called the corporate game. With the corporate game, we're gonna be, cause here's the mandate. I wanna help you become a corporate citizen. What is a corporate citizen? A corporate citizen is someone that has an income of $250,000 per year from one business or multiple businesses or a job and a, a small business. So once you get to that level, this is when you can begin to open up your life. This is when you can begin to start investing because here's the thing. To become the millionaire in the stock market in 20 years, you're going to need to invest thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year. If you're making thirty thousand or fifty thousand dollars a year, there's no way you can even get close to that. But if you have a small business or a setup where you make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, you can easily peel off fifty k to put into investments, whether it's the stock market, real estate, or other small businesses. But the thing is, you got to get to that level. So this is what we're going to be working on in the corporate game. And there's a lot of nifty stuff in there. There's the intellectual property school. There's the art of profit business school. We're going to teach you how to set up corporate structure. We're going to teach you how to hire people. We're going to teach you how to get tax advantages because this goes a long way in you establishing yourself because I want you to say next year in the end of 2023, let's say you got a tax refund of $10,000. What would that do for your life? We're going to be talking about strategies and tactics that can make that a reality. And once again, it all starts with money management. Everything starts with money management. I find it interesting and a little crazy how many people are talking about creating a small business and virtually no one except me is talking about money management. I'll tell you something that I did. Uh, and I just did it for data points. Uh, I got a new Porsche yesterday and because it came in late at night and I couldn't go to the bank and get a cashier's check, for me to drop that car home, I had to finance it. So I went ahead and put the business credit. I actually financed this loan in my business name. And once again, that's, you know, I'm not going to, you know, pay it out, take 72 months to pay it off. I'm gonna pay this car off 
quite quickly because like my first payment is due December 14th. My first payment and my payments are quite steep. My payments are $2,500, $2,500 per month. So I'm going to make that one payment of $2,500 to satisfy the payment. And then I'm going to pay $100,000 on the principal because um, they told me, you know, they want, I should at least keep this loan in place for four months, maybe six. So we will see. But essentially, why am I doing that? Because I'm financially literate. By making such a large payment, I dramatically reduce the interest on the loan, which is higher. It's almost 5%. So, you know, thanks to uh, Jerome Powell, that's why I didn't get the 2.2%. I got this like 4.8%. So even with that, if I was to pay that loan off over the 72 months, I would be paying like 20 some thousand dollars in interest. But because of the way that I'm gonna pay it off, because I'm financially literate, I understand how these products work. I ask a lot of questions. I'm going to get this car paid off. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I am going to get to be able to deduct $55,000 this year off my taxes because I got that car. So th th this strategy and other strategies I'm gonna teach you because there's a lot of things that you can learn, things that you can do to set yourself up for the future. So it's gonna be in the first comment and right once again, the price is gonna go up in December, but right now until, from now until all of November, you can get in for using the promo code and get in and get this and we're going to start having and I'm also going to have a free training I need to go ahead and get that set up and I will let you guys know about that as soon as it is set all right first of all thank you to anyone that has bought any training from bschoolforhustlers.com thank you very much for supporting the business I really appreciate you also thank you to the nerd tribe for your well-constructed comments all right this is something that's been percolating and I want to go ahead and go ahead and tell me, have I ever mentioned the art of holding business mentoring program on a YouTube channel? The answer would be no. It was $30,000 and I recently raised the price to $50,000. Now let's talk about why I never mentioned this program on the channel. This is the Institute of Economic Thought talking about things that are going on in the economy. 99% of the people who watch this channel are not qualified for the mentoring program because you're gonna need to have an up and running business making six figures a month for this to even remotely make sense for you. And I've had many people, including Income Cam, who came to my channel after I made my CPN video and went to the website and he's like, you got this program, $30,000, man, I got stuff for the people. All right, let me go ahead and say something. You having bad credit has nothing to do with you being black. You having bad credit is you mismanage your credit. So Income Cam, that's a bunch of bullshit for the people, for the people. And I'm gonna say something. Um, I'm a capitalist. I believe in a capitalistic society. I operate, I work in a capitalistic society. And if you don't have the money for this product, big whoop, I'm not gonna cry a river. I, and this is something else too. And this is something I learned years and years ago. When I gave away, and let's just go ahead and get to that. When I gave away 19 free business courses from this website, 95% of the people did not take advantage. So I learned that lesson that you could have things that are um, appropriately priced where everyone can buy. Uh, here's the thing, man. If the person who has a problem doesn't care enough to spend money to solve the problem, it ain't that big of a problem for them. So I learned that lesson, you know, for the people, for the people. I literally tried to spend six months giving people a business curriculum that if they had opened up the courses and put in the work, they would make money. And 95% of the people did not take advantage of that offer. And it, it was a very important lesson for me because at the time I was consuming a lot of Gary Vee content. Just give, just give, and just give, and just give. And I gave and it didn't work out because here's the thing. Let's go back to the art of holding business mentoring program. What does this include? This includes something that I cannot scale, my time. I only have 24 hours in the day. And I'll be honest, you wanna know why my consulting packages are so expensive? I really don't wanna to talk to aspirational new business owners who want to discuss and talk about what they're going to do when they don't have a business up and running. I, I simply, it's just, I've been doing this 14 years. I don't wanna to talk to those people. It's not like I hate you, but it's a boring conversation. It's like, hey, you know, I got this ideal. I want, and I, once again, my time is not something I can scale. I only got 24 hours in the day and I do not want to be doing a bunch of talking to people on the phone. So like if my consulting was 500 bucks, that's what would happen. I would literally be spending a lot of time talking to people who have not broken past the mental barrier of actually getting started. So this is why I have never mentioned this program on the YouTube channel. This is why it's not even in the description box because I know the vast majority of people watching the channel, it's not a good fit. So it's pointless, but here's what I'm getting ready to do. B-School for Hustlers, business channel. This is what I got going on over here. 
you know, I, I get a lot of people like, there's only doom and gloom over here, man. It's just doom and gloom. I'm like, I have other channels. If you literally want to start a business, make some money, direct yourself to B School for Hustlers. This is where I drop the business content. And I want to tell you why. There's a different audience over here. I can literally, I've got 80,000 less subscribers over here, right? And I can put a video up here and I'll get three, you know, 15, you know, 1,200 to 3,000 views. And on the main channel, I'll get 3,000. So I have 80,000 less subscribers over here. And proportionally, I get more views from a smaller subscriber base because the folks who are over here actually want to start a business. They're interested in starting business. They're interested in doing the hard work. So this is some stuff that I will start talking about over here. And this is some stuff I will start talking about over here. Same thing, way less subscribers, but proportionally, I get more views from serious people. Once again, you know, I appreciate the folks at the Institute of Economic Thought. I appreciate the well-constructed comments, but from a business standpoint, and this is something that I am getting ready to really, really work on. Like the videos over here are different and it is not the business content. So if you want, uh, if you want business content, how to start a business, how to deal with credit, how to build real business credit, the fastest path to wealth. If you want this type of stuff, go ahead, go over to the corporate game, get to the corporate game, or be like, this is a B school for hustlers is people starting businesses. This is where the, how to start a business content is. This is, if you already have a business, this is the business game for if you already have a business. Now I will probably start advertising the mentoring program over there. I would never ever advertise the mentoring program over here because 99% of you guys, it's not a good fit. It just doesn't make sense. And I am sick and tired of people skipping over the stuff that they can't afford with the coupon, this is like 2,500, this is 2,300. Y'all like, oh, I don't want that. I want the best of you, Glendon Cameron. I want the best of you, I want your best training, even though I'm not qualified, because here's something that I have learned years and years ago. When I was doing, let's see, where is it? When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I was doing that. I had someone who already had a business who went from five and $6,000 a month to $30,000 a month. And I had a bunch of people who were new, who wanted to start a business, but they actually haven't started the business. And that should just illustrate to you the point that if you're still in that, I want to be starting something phase. Um, once again, I, I have love for you. I hope you do well. I hope you reach your dreams, wishes, goals, ambitions. I hope you do, but I don't really want to be part of it because it is annoying. It's frustrating because for someone, and this is one of the things that happened. And the reason I have this, because this, this comes from years and years ago, I had a friend and I was just saying, Hey, if they don't know that I offer this, how can they buy it? So every now and then I will get someone, a business owner, someone's like, Hey, you know, I see you have all this stuff for beginning people, but you don't have nothing for me. And it's true because the business owner, someone that's been in business three, four, five, six years, um, they have different needs. They have different requirements. They have a different situation and they're going to need some stuff to look at their marketing, their advertising. Um, like I'll tell you one person who got into the program, because this is what happens. It's like, Hey, you've been watching the channel, enjoy your content. And we would just kind of do a custom bill for a business owner. And I had someone who had a business, they were doing 5 million a year running the business. The business owner was kind of running ragged. And then I kind of stepped in and just did a few tweaks. And we went from 5 million a year to a million a month. Just a few little tweaks, because here's the thing. The business owner had done a lot of stuff. Correct. They had built a business, they had cash flow, and the same information that you start a business and get to 5 million is not the same information that you're going to get a business to 10 million. It's, it's a different set of skill sets. It's a different set of management tactics. It's a different way of looking at your business. And this business owner went as far as she could go until I stepped in. And that's what this is for. It's not for the rank and file. Cause like, once again, this, this is one of the reasons that my consulting package is so expensive. I don't want to talk to you. If you're just playing around with the concept of starting a business, I don't really want to talk to you. I've been doing this. Like I said, 14 years. I want to talk to people. I, I had a great consult with someone who owned a pharmaceutical company and a great consult with someone who owned, they actually were buying and selling gold. This was interesting. It was exciting. These were really dynamic conversations. Now, for the people who want to start a business, this is what I do, group coaching. And a lot of you want one-on-one, -on -one, but once again, my most precious resource is time. So I can you know, do a bunch of group coaching. I can you know, 50, 100 people at the same time. That's something I can scale and that's why I do it like this. You will not talk to me, get on the phone with me for less than 2,500 bucks, it ain't happening. Because that is a qualifier. If you look at the 2,500 and like you, you have a company, you have revenue of 30 to $50,000 and you've been in business, you spent money on marketing, $2,500 is not that big of a deal for you. But if you don't have a business, you just have a job, you're making 5,000, you're like 2,500, that's a, that, once again, you're not qualified. And once again, I don't ever talk smack or crap about people not buying my products. What if you ever say, like, oh, you know, you broke, you can't buy my, never. Because see, here's the thing. I believe in the abundance mindset. Today, there is someone going out and they're going to drop $3 million on the Bugatti. See, I understand there, there's so much money in the world. There's a ton of money in the world. There's a lot of money in the world. And I get my share of money in the world. So I don't trip. I don't insult people. I don't demean people for not buying my products. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. But please stop contacting me and leaving these comments in the comment section about this program that you can't afford. You want to know why you can't afford it? Number one, you've not spent three to five years building a business and getting your revenue up to six figures per month. That's why you can't afford it because it's not for you. Um, like once again, I honestly, I actually thought about, you know, giving these courses away again, but all I'm going to do is get a bunch of lazy, do nothing people who's like, oh, it's free. I'm going to sign up for it and you're going to do shit with it. Once again, 
My serious people are at the corporate game. My serious people are at B-School for Hustlers. That's where my serious people are. And once again, the serious content, I flip up a video by Will Roundtree, serious content just doesn't get the views because a lot of people just kind of want to play around with business. They're bought into this, what up, hustlers? You can actually make, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month, not work that hard, have plenty of time for your hobbies and your family and vacation while not working that hard. I believe that is complete and utter bullshit. Here's the thing. When you start a business, you're going to work harder, not less, harder for three to five years until you shape it up, you build your management team, you get it going the way you want to go. And then after it's built, after you've put a management team in place, then you can chill out and then you can relax. But in the beginning, you're going to be working more. But so many people have bought into this concept that, hey, I can like sprinkle some hustle dust on this. And um, yeah, I can get all this money and I can be hanging out with Big Booty Betty. Um, it's just not happening. So once again, please stop leaving comments in the comment section. Stop emailing me about this program because you can't afford it. And I'm not mad at you. Like, once again, I've never advertised this on any channel. And once again, I'm getting ready to um, shape this up for B-School for Hustlers and the corporate game because I do have some new group coaching that's coming. Because once again, I'm going to say something. I don't have an inferiority complex. I feel that my time is extremely valuable. I feel that my wisdoms and insights are extremely valuable. And um, yeah, you know, if you want to put something together and you are a business owner, you've already done the hard work, you've already got started. Maybe, you know, I've had some people that I had to help them switch up their corporate structure. And, you know, it, it's a whole different game dealing with a business owner that has built a business, has cash flow, because they've done a lot of things correctly. And it's so much more fun. And like I said, I, I do like <clears throat> the live trainings are coming back. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen um, probably November and December. And, you know, like I said, if you don't have a business, I don't like hate you or nothing like that. But I don't want to talk to you on the phone for an hour talking about what you want to do. That's boring. That's straight up boring. And that's one of the reasons that I don't even bring up this stuff. What you will see in the comment section is the program, the intellectual property school. That's what you see. You see nothing about this. Nothing. Because like I said, most people can afford it because they haven't done the work. So once again, please stop contacting me, pestering me, asking me questions. Why should I hire you to do this versus an attorney? Uh, number one, the attorney has never ran a business. See, that's the thing. My experience is extremely valuable. That proved that with being in the storage auction business, writing a book, making millions of dollars from a book, from a book. So like I said, you know, I got some new stuff that's coming up, some new stuff to help you guys out. So once again, please stop going in the comments. Please stop going to B-School for Hustles and like, you know, like I said, I raised the price. You want, you want to know why I raised the price? To run people off. Because like I said, um, there will literally be a handful of people in the Art of Holding Business Mentoring Program per year. Literally a handful. Maybe 10, maybe 20 people a year. That's it. But that's cool. Because it ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. So go ahead. Be on the lookout for the new training that's coming. And, you know, if you're serious about business, direct yourself to B-School for Hustlers. This is how to start a business content. In the corporate game, you already have a business, you know, because I'm getting ready to start talking about some different stuff over here. So this is where the serious content is. And this is where the, uh, the, the, the crazy stuff is. This is where I post the crazy stuff. This is where I get into it. This is where I just have a little fun. So once again, that's the thing. That's the thing, man. So thank you for your time. Thank you for everyone that's bought some training at B-School for Hustlers. We're getting ready to crank it up. Give me some time to define this, to set it up. And I will see you guys in that up.